<clears throat> All right, someone on the local board asked a question about shot timers. We own two of the kind of three most popular. There's the uh, pack timer, there's the Pocket Pro 2, the SED 7000 or something like that, and then there's the um, AMG Lab Commander or something like that, which is, a, which is a newer one. I don't have any experience with that. But I'll kind of show real quick the difference between the Pocket Pro 2 and the pack timer. Um, we'll start with the pack timer. <clears throat> uh, simple, uh, really easy to set, really easy to use. That's kind of the big, I think, the big benefit of this one. Um, first off, both of them, all of these are good timers. It kind of depends on what you're going to do with it as to which one maybe is better for you. Um, this one's real simple. You got four buttons on top. It's got your, my, I think that's a microphone and the buzzer, or that's just the buzzer and the microphone's underneath it. Big screen. Um, you hit it, like, um, you hit and hold. So right now it's on instant. So, um, if you want to change that, you can hit these, hold these two buttons on top, and then depending on whether you hit the top one or the bottom one, it sets, uh, from, what's that now? That's instant, and then that's how you set your, your par time. So, we can cycle through that. It's the other big thing about this, it's super quick to set the par time. Um, so if we hit that again, and let me see if I hit the other one. Now we're, we're on delayed start, so I'll kind of cycle through that. So now if we hit the button, there's kind of a delay <clears throat> before it starts. So, um, you know, every time a shot goes off, it's going to pick it up. And uh, once it picks it up, you can hit this review. And uh, it'll show you, well, first it shows you your first shot. Now it's showing you the, the shot number, the time it was at, and then the split. So the first shot and the split is going to be the same. But then as you see, like between it, there'll be, there'll be different split times. So, um, pretty simple, pretty easy to see. Um, that's, that's all there is on this. There's the instant or delay, part-time or no part-time, <clears throat> and go. And then you see, see your split. So, super simple, super um, easy to use. I like that it, when I'm dry firing, when I'm, I'm firing, this is on my belt. It's really easy just to reach down. You got that big button to, to start it. And um, downside, there's no adjustment for the volume. The volume is what you've got. There's no real adjustment for the sensitivity. If it is too loud, you can stick um, uh, ear foamy in there or a piece of tape over it, like when we're dry firing, we'll do that. And um, But yeah, super simple, takes a 9-volt battery, has really, really good battery life, lasts last a while. Got a nice kind of heavy-duty metal clip there. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good option. <clears throat> Next one is the Pocket Pro 2. So you see, you've also got four buttons on here, um, microphone and speaker, screens about the same. You can kind of adjust. You actually give you adjustments for what you want to see on the screen. There's two different options there. Um, this button's on the side. It's it's a little bit smaller. Um, still a metal metal clip. This one's a um, little bit, uh, you know, it's a little stiffer, I guess. Um, but it doesn't fit over. If you've got a real big belt, it can be a little harder to fit around. Um, this one, on the other hand. If we, we kind of go through the menu. So split times look like this. Instead of being one after the other, you've kind of got, um, you kind of filter through um, different splits like that. If we keep going through the menu, we've got, um, this is where you set your par time. So the maybe one downside to this is if you're changing from like a small par time to a really big par time, you have to click through or click and hold to kind of, filter through that way so like there we're down to like zero so there's no there's no par time um there you but with this one you can also if we go through the menu you can set the delay how long the minimum of the delay the maximum of the delay so it kind of randomly picks between those you've got <clears throat> there uh, random start time you know minimum time and uh maximum time uh, volume uh, tells you the battery condition, backlit or no backlit, volume, sensitivity of the microphone. Um, there's a ton more options in this. Um, because of that, it takes sometimes it takes a little bit more going through menus to get what you want. If you have it and you use it a lot, it, it's not. It's definitely not slow by any stretch of the imagination. But like part time is not as quick as the the pack timer. The part time does go higher on the uh, Pocket Pro. You've got 199.99, I think, or 199.9. The um, 
Pack timer is only 99.99, so um, if you're doing competition shooting or something with longer par times, maybe a drill with longer par times, this is probably your better bet, and I think the said even goes goes higher than that. So um, that kind of makes a difference. Uh, both of them are really good options. This also takes a 9-volt battery. Uh, the said is an internal battery, and it's got a uh, rechargeable, so you got to put the um, like a charger on it. Um, the AMG, I'm not really sure. I think that uses AA batteries. <clears throat> I think I saw a picture of that recently. It's kind of claim to fame is that it Bluetooths the times and information to like a tablet for like practice score integration and other things. I haven't got a chance to use one of those yet. It seems like a nice device, but um, it's kind of new. So um, I guess if you're interested in that kind of thing, you, you probably want to look somewhere else for that. But um, both of these, all three of these that I mentioned, are really good timers. They all do what they do really, really well. They're all durable. I've had the pack timer for three or four years now, and it, it's held up really well. This one I think I've had for a year and a half, two years. Um, these are really standard in competition, so um, there, there's really no good or bad ones. They're all, they're all equally good. So um, hope that helps you. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask.